What's up everybody, my name is Saf, hope you're doing okay. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to transform your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 into Galaxy S20. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. The amalgamation of performance and functionality resonates very strongly in this ROM. Although this device is over 6 years old, it's still able to cope up with the latest Android devices available today in the market. Thanks to the added support by the developers, we're able to have Android 10 running like a hotcake onto this device. Now guys, this ROM is definitely not going to bring you every single feature of the Galaxy S20 because you know, stability matters a lot at the end of the day. I'm a huge fan of minimalistic design and that's probably the reason why I'm I'm rocking this sleek setup with the Galaxy S20 elements onto my Galaxy Note 3. That being said, let me just go ahead and show you the ported One UI launcher that I'm having over here. So as you can see in the About Home screen, we have One UI Home version 11.0. You have a ton of options over here letting you modify the launcher as per your style like you can change the grid size, enable the landscape mode and swipe down gesture for notification panel. I've got Galaxy Note 5 running One UI right next to my Galaxy Note 3 just to show you the how smooth this launcher runs on my Galaxy Note 3 as compared to its successor. Next up, we have the most talked element of One UI, the notification panel. As you can see, I can easily operate the quick settings panel with just one hand. You also have the dark and light mode working fine here as well. Now with the latest Good Lock app, you can modify the color layouts of your notification panel in a matter of seconds. So as you can see over here on my Note 5, I've got a bunch of different themes with the Good Lock app. Let's go with the purple one. All right, now you might be thinking achieving this kind of look under the Galaxy Note 3 would be impossible since we don't have the good luck app support for our Note 3, right? Well, I've got a good news for you. With the One Shade app, you can not only achieve the same look, but you can also modify this theme with different color layouts. The app offers a lot of flexibility when it comes to the customization, like you can go ahead and change the quick settings icons to different shapes like hexagon and teardrop. Next up, we've got the mighty One UI gestures. To get inside of the task manager, all you gotta do is swipe up from the bottom of the screen just like that. And if you tap on the app icon, it's going to give you further options like the app info. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you something different apart from the Galaxy S20 RAM. You see this fancy clock over here? Well, that's something you won't be getting with the Galaxy S20 series. This style of clock can be accessed using an app called KWGT. Now this app comes loaded with a ton of different clock styles and I'm telling you guys, that's going to take you ages to try each and every clock offered by this app. This is going to keep your phone fresh and fancy. So do check this out. Oh my gosh, just look at this beautiful colorful ring going around the screen. Well, if you don't know about it, it's called edge lighting, a feature that turns on this lighting effect whenever you receive any notification. This feature can be turned on using an app called edge lighting. Inside of this app, you have ton of options, like you can change the lighting colors, you can change the lighting size, and a lot more. And here comes the long awaited One UI camera app. Now guys, at the bottom, we've got three options for the zoom feature, and we have both the front and rear camera working without any fault which is pretty nice. The pro mode is also here if you are really into pro photography. Now guys with this ROM package you will also be able to play around with stuff like Edge Paddle and Note 10's live message app. I won't be going deeper into those since I have already covered them several times in my past videos. And guys to put the cherry on top of the cake we have configuration center with this ROM as well that lets you customize pretty much every single element on your system ranging from having custom gestures to changing actions of buttons on your smartphone. So overall guys, you're getting a pretty good package here, not to mention the battery which does pretty well. Now guys, let me just go ahead and show you how to install this ROM with the Galaxy S20 elements onto this device. Alright guys, so to install this ROM onto the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, you will be requiring some files. I will be providing the download links for all the required files into the description box below. I will also specify which files you need to save either on your phone or on your PC, so go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so now we're going to boot up inside of the download mode. So to do that, you have to press and hold the power key, home key and the volume down key key for a couple of seconds. Alright, so let's just wait for a couple of seconds and here we go. Alright guys, so once you are inside of the download mode, you gotta go ahead and connect your phone with the PC now. So let me just go ahead and do that. Alright, so once you're done doing that, go ahead and open up the Odin application. So at this point, what you need to do, go ahead and press the volume up button to continue and 
right after that you will find this blue box right over here uh, basically signifying that you are you know successfully connected but anyways now you gotta tap on ap and select the twerp file so here's mine let me just go ahead and open that up and last but not the least you gotta tap on the start button to begin the flashing process all right that is gonna take a couple of seconds all right guys so my phone just booted up after the successful twerp file flash but anyways now we need to get inside of the twerp recovery so the way you have to get inside of it you gotta press the uh, power key home key and the volume up key all together for a couple of seconds and you will be booted up finally in the twerp recovery so let me just give it a while all right guys so once you are inside of the twerp recovery go ahead and tap on vibe advanced vibe here select these items after that go ahead and swipe to wipe them up next up we're going to be moving to the location where we have saved our uh, files so let me just go ahead uh, tap on install so right over here are my files so first up we're going to be flashing the rom so here is the havoc rom go ahead and swipe to confirm flash so that is going to be taking uh, a couple of um, seconds so yeah i'll see you once it's been flashed all right guys so as you can see the rom has been flashed so now go back and flash the google apps so once the google apps have been flashed you can go ahead and reboot your system all right guys so as you can see my phone has been booted up and yep it's absolutely plain and empty and that's just because i haven't installed anything inside of it yet but anyways now we gotta get inside of the files app and here we need to go to the place where we saved the apps package zip file so for me it's inside of my internal storage uh, so right here is the package file so we're going to select that and over here go ahead and tap on these few dots and then select all and then go ahead and uh, tap once again on the three dots and tap on extract two and over here uh, you can go ahead and uh, choose the folder where you want to extract the files i'm going to go ahead and extract them right in the main directory so you can see the progress uh, in the notification panel as well so as you can see uh, we got a couple of seconds to wait so let's just wait a little while and i guess that's pretty much it all right so let's just go back now um and yep as you can see over here here are the extracted files now guys uh what you need to do now you have to install every single application you see over here let alone this quick step um, package because that's something that we're going to be dealing with later on all right guys so once you have installed all of the applications if you go ahead and tap on this home button now you're going to find out that it's going to give you the option for the one ui home launcher sadly it's not going to work if you go ahead and try to open it as you can see it just crashed straight away so we're going to get inside of the pixel launcher once again and over here we have to get inside of the magisk root manager so at this stage you need to be connected to your internet connection so as you can see i am already connected so you get to tap on this install button go ahead and tap on install once again go ahead and tap on download zip only so as you can see the file is being downloaded so once the file has been downloaded you gotta get inside of the torp recovery so let me just boot up inside of it all right guys so once you are inside of the torp recovery now we need to flash the recently downloaded magisk file now by default all the downloaded files are actually saved inside of the download folder of the internal storage so uh, let's just go ahead and get inside of that folder so it's right over here so now i gotta find out the magisk file so it's right over here so go ahead and swipe to confirm flash so after the file has been flashed go ahead and reboot your system all right guys so once your phone has been booted up go ahead and tap on magisk root manager and this time around you're going to find this blue box right next to magisk is up to date and what that means is that your phone has been successfully rooted <laughs> yeah if you didn't know about that now you know it anyways now you gotta tap on these three lines up at the top and then the modules uh, button so over here you gotta tap on this plus icon and remember guys last time i told you not to play around with one of the zip files well we're gonna be installing that particular file right now so let me just go ahead and locate to that file uh, for me it's inside of the apps package folder so right over here is the zip package so i'm going to go ahead and tap on that all right so as you can see the flashing process has begun all right guys so now that the application has been flashed you can go ahead and tap on the reboot button and yep let's just give it a while 
All right, guys, so I have been booted up inside of my phone yet another time. <laughs> and now what you need to do is get inside of this newly installed app, Quick Switch. So over here, you gotta tap on One UI Home, go ahead and confirm the permissions. You gotta give it a little while. All right, guys, so now you can go ahead and select your One UI Home launcher and voila, it's working absolutely fine. All right, guys, so now regarding the rest of the applications, well, you gotta get inside of them separately and enable their services. Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the custom clock style widget that I showed you previously in the beginning of the video. Anyways, uh, go ahead and tap on widgets and right over here, you gotta tap on custom widget and go ahead and choose the widget of your desired size I'm gonna go with four by one so go ahead and uh, place it on your home screen and then you have to tap on this big box right over here it's gonna open up this application so over here you have a good good um, list of different clock styles so go ahead and choose whatever you like and yeah guys that's pretty much about it so hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you got any curious, do let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.